one of my goals at the beginning of the semester was actually to learn more about technology and ways that I can implement that in my classroom. I think it's safe to say Olivia Murphy will achieve that goal before the end of her student teaching requirement. She is student teaching in a third grade classroom at Asa Adams Elementary School in Orno. Murphy and her mentor teacher have been using Google Classroom and find students very engaged. Interesting to see they'll make comments like, hi, how are you doing? Or I can't make it work. And in Orno High School, Derek Gagne works with a different age group, but still engagement in the virtual classroom is evident. Personally, that was one of the biggest surprises I had was actually how many of them have been showing up and continue to show up on time and actually be present and engaged. Mia Morrison is an education professor at UMaine. Uh, she says students Mia? are taught in the classroom age? there and for the classrooms they're teaching in, how to help students best learn. But what's really important more, how do we just connect with the students? Kaylee Grindle is a first grade teacher at Dedham School. She connects with her students using a Facebook page and every day reads a book to her students. So today's book is Mind Bubbles. And this has to do with a lot of feelings because this is a really difficult time for a lot of you. This may not be the typical student teaching experience, but these student teachers are making the most of it and hoping that it better prepares them for when they have their own classrooms. At home, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine.